Hi everyone. Uh, in my last video, I was talking about what is mainframe and what are the different companies manufacture the mainframe systems. What are the futures of mainframes and what is the operating systems installed onto the mainframe computer and uh, where the mainframe applications are used. Yeah. Uh, in this video, I would like to discuss technically on the mainframe applications. As I told, I would be talking about more technically from now onwards. So, what do you see? Let's go ahead and start with our technical points on mainframe. Yeah. So, I hope now you might be aware of what is a mainframe. So, let's go and start with the mainframe. Mainframe applications are divided into two types. The first one is batch processing and online processing. So, what exactly the batch process stands for? Uh, batch is like single task environment where only one task can be executed that means resources are allocated to one particular programs it is simple see for example it can execute only one task at a time that means for example I am listening and music that's it while listening and music I cannot do any other activities like opening a word doc or opening an internet explorer those all are multiple tasks but during batch process we can do only one task at a time okay in the same way in real time in when I talk to the mainframe subject it is a single task environment where only one task can be executed that is resources are allocated to one particular program what what is mean by resources resources means memory cpu time okay space this all comes into the picture okay we will uh, we will be going into more details what exactly how the memory is allocated, how the jobs are executed, how uh, the program will be called or how the task will be uh, task will be running. In. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead with the subject. Uh, in batch process in batch process a series of programs are executed in sequential order. Once one task is completed, then only the next task can be started example in branch process uh, generates reports like accounts monthly statements credit start statements and salary pay slips okay what happens here is if you go into your bank you might be depositing money daily okay so one day you have deposited hundred hundred dollars or rupees whatever it is so another day you are uh, deposited thousand dollars two hundred dollars whatever so at the at the month at the end of the month you wanted a statement so as as we talked in our earlier video mainframe is mainly used for large volume of data who who else you who will be using this banking systems insurance systems so those so account monthly monthly statements so what you will do is every day data is stored into your database whatever the transactions you do at the end of the month it calculates it fetches the data from the database and do the calculations and generates the statements so in this batch process so set of jobs are ran and it creates the statements that's simple it is suited to hand it large volume of data it doesn't generate any instant results 
and users have to wait of the output right that was about introduction to batch process let's come and discuss about the online process it is a multitask environment it is where multiple tasks can be executed concurrently this is an opposite to batch process whereas in batch it can execute only one task at a time whereas in online it can execute multi task at a time that is resources are allocated to multiple programs concurrently for online processor or atm yeah this is the best example for the online process see we have multiple atms for a single banks where a different users can go and uh, go and withdraw their money for through an atm machines right this is the best example online process best suitable to handle low volume of data right analog process will generate instant or immediate results yes i have gone to atm i have withdrawn my amount and i get a statement so and so money has been withdrawn your balance remaining so and so and from which area that's it it's simple so that was about the what is batch processing and online process in the same way we have types of programs there are two types of programs batch program online program coming to the batch program so we are going more technically now so in batch program you will have cobol cobol plus db2 cobol plus vzam cobol plus db2 plus vzam these are different kinds of programming we do so first one is like cobol what is a cobol cobol is a, for now you can uh, i will tell like cobol is a programming language so here cobol plus db2 what is db2 it is a db a database it is a database where we store the data so in order to retrieve the database we need a some language that is cobol a cobol plus db2 is one kind of application programming cobol plus vzam this is also one kind of application programming vzam is also a database this is a flat this is non flat database cobol plus db2 plus vzam we can write also with this so these all are different batch programs in the same way for online program we have cobol plus cics cobol db2 plus cics cobol vzam plus cics and again cobol db2 vzam cics what it is varying here cics is coming into the picture okay so that was about batch programming and online programming so in the same way after coding after doing and programming on through cobol and accessing through db2 and uh, creating a flat files or non flat files with these both two databases db2 and vzam are called databases so we might in after doing and coding and everything we might get changes to it okay in order to do changes to a programs or a jobs we need to have some tool so we have various version control tools used in real time environment that means mainframe suitable tools okay so what most of the companies use as librarian changemen and ever pen valent so you might have info we have various version codes depends upon the requirement or depends upon the company they go for these tools and in the same way we have debugging tools debugger means testing of programs so they have exp editor and intertest intertest will be having for both batch and online these are the various debugging tools used so that was about the introduction on the technology technical part so we have talked about what is batch processing online processing and various types of programs 
uh, how the applications are built the applications can be built by go batch process or online process when we go with batch process is with COBOL, normal COBOL plus DB2, COBOL plus VSAM, COBOL VSAM DB2, in online process COBOL CICS, COBOL DB2 CICS, COBOL VSAM CICS, COBOL VSAM DB2 CICS. We have various version control tools used in our real time environment, library and treatment, and debug and wallet. And also, same way, we have debugging tools, XP editor, and interest. So, Let's go ahead and start with COBOL. What is a COBOL? As I told you earlier, COBOL is a programming language. And the abbreviation is like Common Business Oriented Language. It is very, it is a very old language. I hope it was something started in 19th century. So, it is a structural language. DB2, database, VSAM, virtual storage access methods CICS CSS stands for customer information control system it is a command level language JCL job control language JCL is used for compile both batch and online programs JCL is used to only execute batch programs CICS is used to execute only online programs Let's go into details of COBOL. What is COBOL? COBOL is a common business oriented language which is mainly developed for business applications. What are the various business applications? Banking application, insurance applications, telecom communication, real estate, manufacturing companies, reservation systems. These are the various different business applications. So COBOL is very vastly used for this application wherever we have mainframe there we have COBOL what are the futures of COBOL futures of COBOL is a structure pro it is a structure programming it is very much easy to understand easy to maintain very high computing speed better understanding of application programs more readability of application programs we have two types of COBOLs there are PC based COBOL and real mainframe COBOL. PC based COBOLs are Microfocus and Microsoft COBOL. Real mainframe COBOLs are VS COBOL, that is Visualize COBOL. COBOL, I mean, these are the two types of COBOLs. Mainly we use real mainframe COBOL, that is COBOL, VS COBOL, that is Visualize COBOL. So, coming into more technical, COBOL language is used to build programs. So, any program, COBOL language is used to build program. So, in any programming language that has to follow some certain standards or certain structure. In the same way, to code a COBOL program, so we, we have a standard structure for it. So, any program is mainly divided into four divisions, which are identification division, environment division, data division, procedure division. Then, every division is further divided into sections, then sections to paragraphs, pan paragraphs to sentences, and sentences to statements. It is so simple. It is simple like a English language. When you further go on to more technically about coding of a COBOL programs it would be very simple it is same like learning an English language in English what we do first we learn alphabets then alphabets to words words to sentences sentences to paragraphs paragraph to section so the we follow the same structure here divided a and uh, every division are divided into sections, sections to paragraph, paragraph to sentence, and sentences to statements. Hi, hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. I would like, uh, I would be coming with the more videos about technically, of, uh, about all different processes. I mean, I would, I would be, discuss, I would di discuss about more details about what is COBOL, what is DB2, VSAM, CICS, JCL?
so it is very much useful so once again thank you for uh, everyone for watching this video have a good day